Cities and its residents were left picking up the damage caused by the winds. Street signs were folded over like napkins while others were dislodged and at least 75 Regina residents have reported some type of tree damage. We are very blessed. We're very fortunate. Uh, the tree came down and um, the first thing I thought is, oh man, brand new neighbors, they've only been there for a month and we just wrecked their car. Widespread outages affected thousands and buses were canceled for some school divisions. Ice and snow drifts shut down the Trans-Canada and highways surrounding Regina and Saskatoon. This morning, the extent of the damage became even more apparent. Saskatchewan RCMP tell me they responded to nearly 200 motor vehicle collisions across the province. On top of that, 173 additional people had hit the ditch and some had to even spend the night in their cars. So I was like, I can't go anymore. So I just pulled over on the side of the road and the wind was so strong. When my vehicle was in park, it was pushing me all the way to the other side of the lane on the, on the highway park. We ask the public to contact Service Regina if you require service or see any dangers while traveling. Several streets throughout the city remain blocked off as homeowners clean up debris. City crews have spent the day sanding roads and plowing snow. They continue to work throughout the night repairing utilities and restoring conditions to normal. Mickey Judich, CBC News, Regina.